Hello everyone, my name is Gagandeep Kaur. We are, in this video, we are going to learn about formula and functions used in Microsoft Excel. So, in the previous class, you have already learned about the various editing and formatting features of Excel. So, in this chapter, we will be learning how to perform calculations in Microsoft Excel using the formulas. So, to start with, we should know what exactly formulas are. So formulas are used to perform calculations involving addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication. Also, in Excel, it establishes a relation between two or more cells. So a formula is an expression that can include a cell address, number, operator, and parentheses. You all are familiar with the four terms, cell address, number, arithmetic operation, and a parentheses. So, first of all, formulas are of two types, basic formula and compound formula. Basic formula are the formula in which we use only one kind of operator, like in the example is equal to A1 plus B1. Here, the sign is a single operator. Second is compound formula, for example, A1 plus B1 divide C1. Here I am using two of the operators. So basic formula include only one operator at a time, and compound formula include more than one or two operators. Next, we will learn about how to apply formula in the Excel sheet. First, we should know the different elements in the formula. A simple formula, its structure is very sim uh, simple. It has only three things. The formula indicator, that is, is equal to sign. Then cell reference. Cell reference can vary. It may have one cell reference, two cell reference, as many you want. Third is a uh, operator. As I have told you earlier, that simple formula include only one kind of operator. So you can use this plus sign as many times you want, but you can use only single. So next is complex formula. In the complex formula, what we do is we are using two different type of things all together. Here I'm using a cell address, a value, a function, a range. So to write to start with, again, we will write formula indicator that is equal to, then come the parenthesis, a cell address, then come a numeric constant, uh, arithmetic operator of division, a function which name, uh, which name whose name is sum, then a range, E3, ratio EF3. So the, this is the element of the formula. So as you can see, I have already made a worksheet here. So in this worksheet, I have student name, marks for the first subject, then second subject, and third subject. My main motto here is to use the uh, formula with three different types. So the first I have told you about the simple formula. So how to use the simple formula in worksheet? Type is equal to, then click on the cell, Otherwise, you can write the cell address of this, then add operator, click on the next cell, again, third operator, click on the last, press enter. This is how you can calculate the formula in the simple manner. The second way, which is much easier than this, is just simple select your range of which you want to find the total, then click on this auto sum option that is present in the editing group. Now you can see the difference between both simple and auto sum. The third way, which is using the function, you have to mention your function name in the formula. So type is equal to, as we are doing addition, so the keyword is sum, start the parenthesis, mention your range. So here range become B5, colon, D5. So 
as i write my range it is surrounded by a blue boundary which let you know that which columns uh, which cells you have selected press enter so these are the three different ways to use a formula next i am not going to write the formulas again and again what i am going to do is select your data go to the bottom corner the sign this cursor will change drag it down so excel make your work easier because it copies the formula from the other cells the second formula we are going to do is of average again this is very easy select your range again go to the auto sum option now click on this drop down arrow here you can find the option of average click here and you can see the average when i click on this option you can see the formula which has automatically appeared in the formula bar again drag it down all the answers are present here so the next is maximum and minimum uh, the full name is maximum but in when we are writing the function it is not used exact so we write here is equal to max then specify your range i want to find the maximum of all these so the starting of the range will be b3 then semicolon and the range will end at b8 close your parenthesis press enter the maximum marks belong to kathy that is 88 and here is the answer 88 similar with, similar with the minimum option is equal to min then mention your range like this and close the parenthesis press enter i have used drag drag option downwards you can use this option to the right also this was your today's lesson formula and function how to enter the formula in the worksheet and what are the uses thank you